Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use the Choose Columns command in Power Query to make selecting columns and performing operations on those columns a little bit easier when we have a wide set of data. So here I've got uh, data loaded into the Power Query editor, and you can see that it's a pretty wide set of contact data, and each record has five different uh, contacts in it. So for example, here I've got email one. And if I scroll over, then you can see that I've got email two. And let's say I wanted to combine those, so merge those columns together. What I might normally do is select the first one, hold control, and scroll over to the next one. And then try and find it and select that and repeat until I've got them all selected. And then I can come up to my transform tab and merge those columns. Now I'm just gonna cancel that. So an easier way to do that is to come up to the home tab and there's an option here, choose columns. And if you click on that, we have the option to choose columns or go to columns. So let's choose our columns. And then we get a, an easier way of selecting columns here. So we have a list of all the column header names here. And we can just unselect the list and then go through and select just our emails. And if our list is really long, what we can actually do is let's just unselect everything again. We can use this search columns here. And for example, let's type email and that's going to show just our email columns and then we can select all from those and then press OK. And now we just have our email columns left and now what we can easily do is select them all by selecting the first one and holding the shift key and selecting the last one. We can also just select any of them and press control A. That's going to select them all as well. And then now we can go to our transform tab and merge those columns together. And let's just separate them with a comma and call that email and press OK. And there we go. We've got it all combined into one column now. And then what we can do is go back to the applied steps and select our remove other columns field or command and then just delete it so that we get all our other columns back. So now we have all the other columns that we had previously deleted. And if we scroll over to where email five is or was, Then we have our email columns that have been combined in a comma separated list. So that's the choose columns command. It's going to make selecting your columns a lot easier when you have a wide set of data. And you can also use it as a temporary step when combining or doing other actions on select columns. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.